know, and at that time we're discussing about, you know, you wanted to sell your property. I just want to know, are you interested in, are you still interested or consider selling your property? If, if I can get you a better price than what we talked about last month, mu last month, then you'd be like, yeah, you know, I would love to hear it. Well, Ryan, so our company actually just launched a new program called the buyers, the home buyers program. So what we're doing is that we're providing the service free to anyone that doesn't meet our criteria. So I know last time when we chat, you wanted 100,000. I offer you 50. I understand it was too low for you and it's not going to work. It's not going to make sense. And I completely understand that. But my question to you is that, you know, what 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 would you willing to sell today? Like, w would you consider anything less than 100,000? So the thing you got to figure out, Brian, Ryan, is that how much would the property sell for in an asset condition on the market? So which means you don't have to know what the ARV of the property would be. You just need to know what would it sell for. So let's just say that the property would sell for 100,000 on the market. Okay. If the, okay. if the property sell for 100,000 on the market, all you need, all you need, Ryan, is if you can just get the seller to come down to even 90K. So that's, that's easy, right? Get them to drop 10,000. But obviously the more you can get them to drop off, then the better, the more room you have. But even if you can have them drop off to 90,000 or even, um, okay, so yeah, so even 90,000. So now you're going to tell the seller, you're going to be like, hey, What's what what this home buyer program is that we're able to actually list your property on the open market. So you don't say the MOS because when you say the MOS, it just sounds like you are a realtor. So you said we can actually this allow us to push your property out to thousand our investor that's willing to pay and ready to pay at retail value. So they are willing to pay more than we do. Right. They're willing to take more risk because they have more capital. Right. That's what you tell them. So they're willing to pay at that price. So I can get you the 90K, Ryan, and we'll be able to put this on the market with your permission, if you're okay with that, to get to attract retail buyer. So with this novation is that you're able to be more transparent with the seller and you have to be transparent. So that's why it's, it's going to be an easier pitch. So you're going to say, hey, we're going to market this property on the open market, right? And we're going to attract retail buyer. What that means is that, you know, we're going to get people that's going to get, you know, conventional loan, VA loan, um, USD loan, you know, FHA loan. But the, the beauty about us doing this for you, Ryan, is that guess what? We take care of all your com uh, commission. All the, all, we take care of all the realtor commission. We, st we still going to take care of all your closing costs, all the fees. So there's nothing you have to pay. And we're actually going to get your property sold in an asset condition, which means if there's any repair that comes up throughout this whole entire process, we're actually going to pay for it. Right. So we're actually going to pay for all the repairs. If anything comes up that the buyer wants to fix, we got you. You see that? So when you position this, now you got them at 90,000. You're going to put the property on the, car, on the market for 100,000. Okay. And yeah. And the seller, even if, even it doesn't even matter. Even if you, even if you put the property, let's just say, let's just say the property is 200K. You got the seller to come down to like, let's just say 150. And you put it on the market for like 200,000, even if the, like the seller is going to see, some seller will see, hey, you're trying to sell my house for 200,000? Here's how you tell them. You'll be like, hey, Ryan, we put that on for 200,000, but doesn't mean that we're going to get the offer for 200,000. We, because a lot of our buyer will come in, we'll negotiate. We want to give room to be able to negotiate, like we're going to give them a discount. So basically, you are, you're basically working on their, for, for them, right? You're going to be, hey, we, we're we going to do all the negotiating, right? So typically, we, we, we market them high because we know and the then, buyers will come in. They want the discount. They want to negotiate. So, nine to one so that two. give us room, right? That give us yeah. room. But he stays to like four. Right Whoever it is. goes and works out. And then uh, he finishes on. whatever. Uh, hold on. I'm going to, I found it already. Let me try to mute. Um, I can't. So hold on a second. No, he doesn't care. Okay. okay, got it. Are we good? Okay, good. Oh, there's one more. Um, there's uh, yeah, Dylan. Hold on a second, Dylan. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, Dylan's mute already. Okay, good. So that's how you position. Okay, so I I'm going to stop here because maybe there's a lot of information already. I know Ryan got a question. Ryan, go ahead, bro. So I just thank you, Kong. So yeah. uh, 
so the buyer still uh, covers all the closing costs and all the all the fees, and that's on the contract already. Yeah. Okay. So when the seller signs the purchase and sell contract, which the one that we gave to you guys, huh? so make sure you check. But I, I know it's in there. There should be a clause, a clause in there that say that the seller allow us to market the property on the market. So that's step number one. So once they sign that, we're good. But but we need to let them know, right? That like with this novation, they cannot be surprised. Yeah. So let them know, hey, this is exactly our move. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna market on the market. We're gonna find you the retail buyer, yada, 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 right? So once they sign the contract with that clause in there, you're good to go now. Yeah. And then I'm sorry, now, what how about um how about if you're you're a licensed real realtor? Because I'm I am the in the mode of getting my license right now to be a real estate agent. Yep. So, you have, yeah. So which means that you have to actually disclose that to the seller. I'm yeah. a real estate, right? I'm a real estate agent. I'm not representing you. I'm working for an investment firm and this is what we're willing for do to do for you. So you have to let them know that you are a real estate agent, right? But this, mm -hmm. this is the method that you want them to, this is the method that you're working for the company that you're going to go with and present them that. And as long as you put that Ryan in the contract, Seller acknowledge that I am Ryan blah blah blah. It's a real estate agent, right? But I'm not yeah. representing them. So you gotta make sure you disclose that in there and then you're good, bro. Okay, cool, cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Addy, let's go. So it's gonna be same as uh our wholesaling. Correct. So this is similar then, to wholesaling, but 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 the big difference here is that once you list it, you found the buyer. So let's just say you got the sell under for 90. Put it on the MLS for 100,000. Buyer came in by said, yep, I'm going to buy it as is for 100K because that's what the property's worth. Now you found the buyer, you go back to the seller. You need to, now you're going to have the seller signs the novation agreement. That's key, which I know Alex and Jericho have already shared that agreement with you guys. If they, you, guys, you guys have not received it, make sure you reach out to one of them and they will uh, they'll hook you up. I think Jericho also did some video showing you how to fill out the form as well. But if you have trouble, that's what we're here for. If you have trouble, make sure you hit Jericho up. So once you found the buyer, you have to sell a signs the novation agreement. That novation agreement in their states that they gave you the power of attorney, the POA, power of attorney to execute your side with the buyer. So the buyer doesn't even know that they're dealing with the seller. Okay, they just know that they're dealing with you. So you can actually sign on the seller behalf on the purchase and sale agreement with, all right, the end buyer. Good. And uh, everything works in this because for wholesaling, we were looking for cash buyer. But for novation, it, uh, if someone is getting a loan, even that works. So Correct. we are not. Correct, bro. That's why novation is, is so big. It's because a majority of the property that works great for novation and I'm sure probably nine out of 10 of our sellers are going to fall in this category is that it doesn't need a whole lot of work. That's number one. And that the seller is not in a rush to sell because typically you want to tie that property up under contract for at least 90 days. But hey, 90. Co correct, because it's going to take the bank loan, you know, 45 to 60 days to close on it. It gives us a, a 30 day mm -hmm. extra to market the deal. But there will be time where you will find buyers, a mom and pop that has 100 G's or 300 K stack up and they just want to buy the property out cash because they don't want to compete with other, you know, um, buyer that's taking finance. So they're like, hey, I'm going to come in with X amount of cash. So that will happen too. But I'm just saying with Novation, it's allow you to market it just like an agent would. But you get a market way more, tack more fee on top. And that's pretty much it. So we don't need an agent as in uh, if, I, if I was selling my home, I have to you have do. an agent. Hold on. Things. You got it. So, Addy, there's actually, um, I will send this link to Jericho, and he's going to put it in the Discord announcement or chat. You do need, so there is a website called Brokeless, but I'll send you the link so you guys make sure you get this, the exact same one. This is very important. So, Brokeless is a company that's a third party that you don't need a realtor license. You sign up with them, I think you pay like 149 or something like that. That's where you, Get you can put your property on the MLS. Yep, and then all the coming call it can just go to you. So the buy, so the agent call you up about the deal, it goes all to you, and you handle that. So there's no one in between to mess up the deal, and it's just going to go down 
exchange, like a wholesale kind of deal. You set up the walkthrough, right. the buyer's there, walk through the inspection, they're ready to go. You sign a purchase and sell agreement. Also, too, is you got to make sure that once you find a buyer, you have the seller signs what's called the the, the form and 17. See, like these, like these are the detail stuff that typically, like, I don't go over online because there's just so much thing that pops up. So you need, this is very, very important, guys, to protect yourself. The seller, once you found the buyer, seller needs to sign the form N17. And that is something you can grab from the brokerless, from the MLS. They have that. The form 17 means that the seller goes through and check off everything that they know that's that's wrong with the house. Because the buyer needs to see that. So when the seller sign that, they acknowledge that they right that they sign that off buyer's nose, and then you that's what protects your butt. Go Good. Ahead. So just so just to draw the parallels again, we are doing the same thing. Suppose cold calling or uh, uh, bandit signs, whatever. But this time they want the market value. So we check what's the as is value for this without doing any repairs. We take that amount. Suppose uh, we are not uh, getting the price down as we did for wholesaling, like thirty percent, all that thing. Taking yep. the as is value, just a little bit down, yep. reducing a little bit, and then uh, marketing it in MLS instead of getting a cash buyer. Here, yep. anyone, even they get a loan, they can still buy it. But and uh, we have a form N17 where it clearly says, okay, these are the repairs we made in the property. So that way, the buyer knows. And it's yep. on paper that we didn't uh, bluff anyone or yep. no one was blindsided. Everyone yep. knew that these were the repairs. This yep. is what they get. Yep. Uh, and we also need... Uh, real estate agent this time. Till now, we were using uh, an attorney or uh, opening an escrow. Yeah, but so, this time we need an agent. Yeah, so basically three parts. So the only missing part you you miss left is you need a title company that can actually know how to do these transactions. So when you call these title company up that that does your wholesale deal, ask them are they familiar with Novation. But I am going to. I think there's someone in my mastermind, my CG that actually has a title company that does it in a lot of the states, like majority of the state. I'll try to see if I can get that info. If I can, I'll I'll share with you guys. So you guys can use that same title company to close. But if I were you, I would call back a title company that does your, close, your, your wholesale transaction and ask them if they are familiar with doing novation transaction. And then if they say yes, you're golden. Yes, thank you, sir. That that answers all of my questions. Perfect. Anybody else have any other questions? Okay. So here's one thing that will come up in between this whole entire process is that the seller will see how much you make. And I'm gonna give you guys this one state statement that you tell them, it doesn't it doesn't even matter if they see you make two hundred thousand dollars on the deal. So let's just say you you got the property for 100K. You put it on the market for 200K. The seller is going to be like, hey, I'm selling it to you for 100. You got, you got, you say on here that you're going to sell for 200K. What's up? Here's exactly how you position yourself. And this, they cannot say anything to you. So you said, Mr. Seller, so I'll, I'll just you, Bob. Bob, so the 100, so the extra 100,000. It's actually, that's what we need to get from our lender because we're going to take that money. We're going to pay for the realtor commission. We're going to pay for the closing costs. We're also going to pay for all the repairs that this new buyers, this home, this, uh, this end buyers, the want us to do. They want us to put granite countertop. They want us to do stainless steel appliance. Like they want to go all out on this property. So we need to get that hundred K from our lender to actually do all of this, unless you want to give it to us. That's how you do it. My friend, that's how you precision. Like, so what are they going to say? Right, just like I need to, I need to put the purchase price two hundred thousand because that's the amount of money I need from the lender to take care of all the closing costs, all the real commission. Unless you want to take care of it, which majority they like? No, I don't. Right, that's how you position. There's nothing they can say, and I need that money to actually do all the repairs, all the rehab, all the work that this end buyer want us to do to do the remodel. They want a full, complete update, gut job, whatever it is that you want to say, and that will get you away from whatever margin. But that you're making on the deal that they're freaking out. Okay, um, Alfredo, you got a question? You, 
Um, you have to unmute yourself, bro. I can't hear you. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, uh, my question is, um, uh, one thing I can uh, kind of uh, put together is, uh, you know, I belong to uh, San Antonio Boy Realtors, so I, I am an associate with a brokerage firm. So let's say uh, I I decided to do a innovation. The moment that I put that property on, on the MLS, on the San Antonio Boy Realtors MLS, uh, they, they, they're going to know that I'm not using my firm, like where I work with, you know, the the uh, the brokerage. And so they're going to say, okay, I mean, I, I see it like a very big issue here in Texas because I, um, every property, every property that I should list on the San Antonio Borough Realtors, right. that's where I'm a member of, yep. they, uh, they expect me to list it with my brokerage. Yep. So I don't know how to go about, you know, separating one from the other. Okay, so Alfredo, as of right now, what it is is your firm, they want to get paid, right? But but in this case, I don't think my firm is going to be involved, but right. they probably so, know about it and right. So okay, so here is what I, I'm gonna do for you, Alfredo. I can give you this answer, but I'm gonna confirm it. Right to make sure because I don't want to get you in trouble, so I'm going no, to confirm but, this. But but Kong, let, let me tell you. I mean, I'm not saying that that like uh, like I'm seeing this as an impossible thing for me to do. Uh, no, no. I hear you, but what I'm saying is that I, as long as you, I think if you talk to your broker, all right, that on what what it is you're doing, and if you can list it through them, I think it should be fine. Yeah, but, so. but but hold on, Alfredo. What I'm going to do is right after this, dude, I'm going to double check with my attorney to make sure and I can so I can give you more of a solid answer. So I should be able to give you a solid answer tomorrow when I give him a call. No, no worries. Whenever it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's uh, whenever you can, it's fine. If not, it's not a problem. Because no, dude. Uh, yeah. Even if you find out something uh, uh, sure. with your attorney, maybe in Texas, it's totally a different thing. But I want, one thing I want to tell you is I don't see that as, uh, as a thing against me because what I've done in the past, what I do is I purchase the property, uh, let's say uh, with a subject to or just seller financing. So that property is mine. Then I can list it on the MLS. That's right. Right, 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 right. Correct, but Alfredo, I can tell, dude, I can tell you right now, bro. The market is just so iffy, bro. You don't want to, you you don't want to buy anything if you don't have to, bro. So why would you buy and risk X amount of dollars? Why would you want to put two, three hundred up at risk? So the thing is, uh, when the, the way I've done it, the way I've done it is, uh, I just, you know, uh, I just give these guys uh, five thousand dollars, let's say, uh, for the uh, subject to. They give me six months on a year or right, whatever. right, 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 right. Then I, I, that property is mine. Sure, <laughs> so sure. No, I right. them unless I am the owner, and I sell it out at any any place I want. I got you. Yeah. So, afraid of you talking about subject Q, where you put very little upfront. Yeah. Right. And you want to list it? That's fine. No, that's great. So if you can do that, that's great. We're talking about novation. So what if they don't want to do subject to? What if they like not every seller will want to do subject to or seller finance? So I, we're talking about like novation, actually just listen the property on the market. So Alfredo, if you can do subject to and put 5K and take it over and list it on the market and make 25K, dude, that's great. Well, but, I, I would love to do that. I just need to know yeah. how so I don't get myself in trouble because I don't want to oh. lose my life. Oh, you oh you mean like for the whole sub to queue? No, for the innovation. Correct, correct, correct. So, so 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 Alfredo, that's why I'm telling you right now that I'm gonna get on the phone with my attorney tomorrow. And you know, I like once again, you guys are pay you guys are in, in my community. I wanna get you get I wanna get you guys taken care of. So my first my thing, my first thing I wanna do to you for you tomorrow, bro, is I'm gonna call my attorney. I'm gonna double check. Like I know the answer, but I'm gonna double check to make sure because I don't want you to get in trouble either. And I'm going to tell him your position. And after that, I should be able to give you an answer. So make sure you check on Discord or on, on the voice chat. I'll, I'll have to send you a voice on there. Okay? okay. Are we cool? Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. A anybody else have any other questions? R Ryan, go ahead, man. Do you think you could um you could post that voice chat to like the VIP Absolutely. chat? Absolutely. 
Yep, so we can absolutely. Yep, yep. Thank and you, then I'll put, I'll, I'll put at student so that way everybody um, can listen to it. Okay, cool. Thank um, you, man. I was just kind yeah, of about that too. Also, too, is you guys are the first one here to know first. So I don't know, uh, for those of you, if you check the announcement, I just recently launched the VA service. For those of you like, hey, I got some extra cash. I want to, okay, so if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. Because it, it took us two months to to train up these VA. So I don't care what position you need them, but they already been trained. Like, you don't have to train them. Lead manager, purchase manager, I don't care what it is, but they've already been trained. Now, I do want to let you guys know that it does cost way more, right? It started out like $10 or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Versus if you were to go hire yourself, then obviously it's way cheaper, okay? But beside that, I do also want to let you guys know that I just met with someone here at CG, freaking badass. I'm going to team up with him, and we're going to launch our own data. And, the, and um, basically, they use AI where they can predict who is actually more likely to sell their property in the next 30 to 60 days. So once I launch that, I'm going to share with you guys first. So stay tuned. It's going to take me, it's probably going to take us like a month or so, but I do want to let you guys know that. And this is crazy. They only been sharing this in CG. And I said, dude, we need to get this. We need to get the in on this. I imagine that. So, but there's, they also have crazy, more crazy lists that most real estate investors don't have access to. So stay tuned. So anyways, any any other questions? Is that, oh, is that uh, Cody Sperber? There's there's some guy, Cody Sperber, uh, Sperber he has his application his is, called... Uh, his is like something different. Ever investor? I'm, yeah, his, I think he has like, some, like he has a total different program. Some very, very different. Even um, if that has the uh, AI score, it, it it ranks all the property as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who has this, most uh, I like uh, it, so I think that. Yeah, I have. I haven't heard much about it, but I know ours different than that. Ours different. I like Got it. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, John, John, uh, dude, John, 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 uh, bro. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's just John did with the Y. John. Okay, John. John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a quick question. Bro. Especially, so, especially high school dropout, man. <laughs> so no, no, I'm I'm completely new to the program. I mean, uh, you know, first cool. off, thank you for accepting. Love it, me. man. Um, Welcome, man. my my question would be, uh, because I'm new to uh to you know absolutely all of this. Yeah. Do you think it'd be smart for me to to you know first find the foundation of wholesaling in general before I even dive deeper into the innovation, or do you think I could possibly? Uh, integrate the you know novation agreements as I'm uh learning. Like, do do you think uh it yeah. has to be one or one and one yes, or no. I... no, bro. So what I, what I think you need to do is you need to go look at all the video that Jericho has put together about novation, and I think you can implement this into while you're learning. Because if you offer them, okay, let's just say you I call you up and I said, hey Jonathan, you know you want a hundred thousand for it, but here we're at we're at. For fifty thousand, you're like, ah, uh, yep, it's not gonna work. I'll be like, well, what worked for you? You'll be like, ninety k. I'll be like, you know what? You know what, Jonathan? That's not gonna work for us. But you know what? What I I can we I got good news for you though. My company just recently launched a home buyer program that I think, dude, you guys got to position yourself really, really well. That I think that you might qualify for this. But let me double check, okay? And then, dude, just like, hey, can I call you back in an hour? Dude, the longer, like, if you can do that, it just makes them feel like, dude, like, am, am I qualified or not? So when you do pitch, it feels like it's more like, it's more like them selling it to you. So you'd be like, hey, listen, um, Jonathan, I don't know if you qualify, but let me check with my team, man. Because this is a new program that we just launched, and I know that it's not for everybody, but I think it might work for your property. So could you give me an hour? to see if I can make sure that your call for a property is qualified, boom, get off, call them back an hour and then pitch that novation. Works like magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, and, and keep, sorry if I missed friend. No, yeah. you're, okay. you're okay. I have two questions. Okay. Okay. One question, how you work with the real estate agent with the novation or you just don't consider real estate agent? 
So we no. currently right now, that's a good question, bro. Because currently right now we're you we're using brokeless. But mm -hmm. if that's all you do very little, when you start to do a lot, mm -hmm. right? When, when you start to do a lot, that's mm -hmm. when you have to use a broker. Okay. So we can ask the real estate the mice. Yeah. So my second question is I can ask a real estate expiring listing, so we can do the novation. Yes. Correct. Okay. Correct. That's my, my buddy. Question. Yep. Right. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, you're welcome, Lewis. Lewis. Hello. You can hear me? Yep, I can hear you. What's up, man? What's up? So, novations basically, it seems like it's a lot easier. You just got to add a couple steps to it, basically. Yeah. And it seems like you're basically giving the seller what they want. Exactly. You know, at, so basically you're like, so what I'm thinking is like, basically you pitch them the wholesale side of it, but then you're like, oh, you know, that doesn't work, Correct. but I can do this for you. Right. Correct. One thousand percent. And then you're like doing them like a, basically like a kind of like a favor, like, a, you know what I'm saying? Like this is. Dude, exactly. Just saying, hey, okay. because we can't do this for you. Here's a service that we actually provide for free, specifically if you qualify. Okay. You, you got to say that. If you qualify, and that's okay. when that's what makes them anxious. So when you do pitch, it's an easy take from them. Okay, and so you don't need a huge discount either on it, right? You are correct, my friend. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's all I have. Appreciate it. Yeah, dude, absolutely. What other questions? Um, I. Fredo, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Well, you mean that uh, the the um the innovation thing uh, will open up to more buyers, the more pool of buyers, like a bigger pool of buyers, because it will be listed on the MLS. Or what is the um the good thing about innovation other than a big spread? Actually, it's a big spread and probably a bigger pool of buyers, right? Because you put it on them. Right. Okay, I don't quite understand, but but let me see if I can try to understand. So you're saying, why would a seller go with Novation instead of listing it with you? No, no, what I'm saying, what is the good thing about Novation other than just wholesale the the, the, the typical way, you know, it, 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 it right. could okay. be, it's a bigger spread and also it could be like, there's a, a bigger pool of buyers. Correct, because yes, it's correct. So, 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 so the key with Novation is that you can attract retail buyer and um, also, you can make bigger spread on your wholesale fee, and it works for nine out of ten of the seller that say no to your wholesale deal. Oh, okay. Got, Got it. it. Got it. Okay. Uh, Alex or Alexis. Alex. Alex is Alex. cool. Okay. Uh, how's it going, man? So, a uh, quick question here. So, I know for Novations, we're looking for a discount still, right? It's a it's just a smaller margin than, um, than regular wholesale. So, what's what's a target? What we see? What would be a target um, discount? that we are looking for when it comes to innovation. Dude, good one. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that let's just say the property is 200 K. Then I think you, if you can get them down to like 30 to 40 K, it'll be good. So let's just say the property is 200 K. If you can get them down to that 170, then you got a 30 in there. That 30 will also, you know, take care of any closing costs or realtor commission, but the realtor commissions can always be negotiated. Got it. But, so if, if it's 200K, I think if you can get down to that 170, it's good. If it's 100,000, then if you can get it down to that 80, even 90K, then you're okay. Because a 3% a 3% closing cost on 100,000 is only 3,000. But a 3% closing cost on a 200,000, it's a little, it's a lot more. Right. So so you can't not get, so if the property can sell for 200,000, you can't get under 190 and make it work. Make sense? Got it. Got it. Yep. Cool. Perfect. Thanks. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, Ryan. Ryan P. Hey Kong. Um, just really quick. So, um, when you go to market the the places, obviously they need a little bit of work and stuff like that still because they're an as is property. Yep. So yep, yep, when yep. you go to market that and you create your advertisement piece, how would you put some of the repairs that would be needed? Would you just uh, say, Hey, these are all the things that are needed for the repairs or needs a little light rehab okay. or this Correct. is exactly what we know. And based yeah, on cool. the N17 form. Correct, dude. So basically, whatever the seller tells you, that's what you're going to put on there. So when you fill out the description of the property, property needs TLC. Boom. That's it. 
property is going to need TLC selling as is. Sell as is. Right? So, Ryan, so when the seller calls you and be like, hey, well, you're selling the property as is. Yes, that is correct. But we say that is because the buyer is going to buy it as is. And then we're going to do all the repair after we close with them. The reason why you want to position yourself that, dude, is because if they see you have a $100,000 spread, you can be like, yep, we're selling as is. That's correct. They're buying as is. Because we promise them that we have our own contract on the side that we're going to do all the work. Gotcha? That makes sense. That's perfect. That's yep. genius, man. Dude, Thank absolutely. You. You're welcome, man. Uh, Juan, what up, dude? What's going on, what? Con? What uh, up, what up, dude? Uh, so one question that I have, what are the risks about like novations, if any, and if they are like, what could I do to like mitigate from that? Dude, sounds good, man. Uh, the only, the only risk you got is the only risk. The only risk that you got is if you don't get the seller to sign the form N17 to disclose what's wrong with the house and the buyer comes back to you. Okay. None of these were disclosed. Disclose what's wrong, and not executing it correctly. That's why I on my social media when I go and I said, "Dude, I can give you guys anything, but I cannot give you guys the novation agreement or all of that because if you guys don't do it right, I don't want to get bite in the butt." So when you execute it, everything just gotta boom, 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 boom in line. But that's it. Right. Yep. That, I mean, that's the only thing that I can think of right now. All right. Yeah, that's the only question I had. Cool, man. Jesus. Jesus in the building. Hey, Zeus, what's up, dude? What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, good, man. Hey, I have a question. So yep. I'm a rookie on this. Um, should, should I work? Should I focus more on wholesaling or innovation? Do it both. Okay. Once again, same thing. All right. Once again, the same thing. So uh, you will pitch the wholesale deal to them, not work, pitch innovation. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> yep. So basically, it's not like one or the other. They, they're they exact same thing, right? Because we're still wholesaling. We're not buying. We're not fixing. We're not doing anything. All the closing costs, all the piece, it comes out of our commissions, right? So it's not like choosing to wholesale or to fix and flip. Novation, wholesale, exact same thing. Just it's a little bit different structure. That's all. Okay. Uh, Carlos, you got more questions, bro. Carlos. Okay, Carlos got Carlos done. Okay. Uh sorry about that. Uh sure. Yeah, well, I, I just want to see what what's what's the process of getting the uh the realtor involved with this? Yeah, man. So basically you have to find a realtor that actually understands novation. But like I said, if you use brokeless, since I'm sure you so probably only gonna do one or two deals a year, or once you start getting more deals, once you start doing like at least two or three a month, dude. That's when you need to link up with an agent that know how to execute novation. But if you only do one or two or three deals a year, bro, you can use brokeless. That's what we've been using for the last. David, I'll send you guys the link, right? So I will make sure I'll get the link to Jericho so they can he can put it in here, make an announcement so everybody gets it. But we use that to list our property. So you sign up, you pay like one forty nine. That's that's all they charge. It's a flat fee. You do the listing, you do all that, and they have someone that can actually walk you to show you how to do it, man. So don't don't worry, right? And it's once just one step at a time. Um, Ryan Walter, Ra Ryan, question, dude. Go ahead. So um, so when you find an agent or a brokerage, I guess you could say to post your yep your listing on MLS, do you do you have to pay them? Um, a real estate commission, or do they you just pay them a flat fee of like a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, or something like Good that? Question. So typically, typically it is a flat fee, okay. right? Yep. So you'd be like, boom, pay this. They'll they'll list it, but all the phone call goes to you, so they don't have to worry about they don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. Be, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I had I had a property like I think a month ago, and yep. the lady, I think it was like. I think as is, it was like 360,000. I mean, if the repairs were done, maybe like 400, 420. Um, and then the her mortgage was pretty high. I think it was like 255. So I did the formula for wholesaling. Yep. Yep. And it, it was just like, 
the repairs and the the you know I wasn't really gonna need a fee on it you know so I so got I, and I know um, Jericho did you know tell me about Novation but I wasn't sure about it but now I know sure. more about it and I Good. talked around to like almost you know I think they they had like a three or two fifty on it for mortgage and I talked them down to like a two seventy if it did work out and so I didn't <laughs> I didn't know how to do it so Brian. Hold on a second, bro. The property's worth as is for how much? I think as is. I think it was like 350, 360. You got them to come down to 270? Just about, yeah. They owe 250? Yeah. Why did you why did you not lock it up, bro? I I just wasn't sure about it, man. I was just I, I was I was Brian, Brian, I gotta say this. Come on, man. I know one one is sitting there waiting for this dude bro that's such a big spread yeah man dude now I don't want to draw on this dude but that that way there could have been a six figure yeah dude Ryan even if you will wholesale that bro yeah that like to me the numbers just off the top of my head even if you wholesale dude that could have been easy 25 30 K mm -hmm. so my my question to you we we need to figure out what is wrong yeah. what why didn't you lock it up so i think the repairs on it was like i think 25 thirty thousand dollars or something like that oh that's, that's I, did, I did the formula for 30 percent, and i think that knocked me down to like i don't know maybe like that's like 400 and then i think my spread was like five thousand. but then i was i, I contacted some real oh, 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 okay hold, hold on okay ryan man what's the arv on the property Dude, you, man, I, have, I, I, have, I, I, I just keep, keep seeing you guys miss the opportunity. Okay, Brian, just answer my question. What's the ARV? So when I talked to the realtor, he said, he said four hundred to four hundred twenty thousand. But I asked oh, okay, him. Okay, okay, hold, hold, hold. Um, can someone do the math for me? Four, four, take four hundred thousand minus thirty percent, please. Where we're at, and then minus twenty five thousand repair. Where we're at. It shouldn't be less than 255, bro. So, Ryan, why? Okay, but they wanted 270, right? Yes, yeah, they wanted 270 because their, their mortgage was bro, hold on. Bro, oh, 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 I, I got you, Ryan. So, my next question to you is Did you reach out to the group? Did you be like, Hey, Jericho, the, the sell owes you know 250 on this man? The lowest I can get him to come down is 270. The property's worth as is three, three something. ARV is 400,000. Did you yeah, reach we, out? Yeah, so we I did the numbers with Jericho, and yeah. he said, um, you know, you could do innovation on it. So, okay. and I was I was like kind of like I didn't I don't really know how to do innovation, so we haven't really got into that topic. I got so. you. Okay, okay, got it. So Ryan, here's the next move, dude. Is the do you think the property still it's still available? Um, I could definitely check. I think I still have her number, so I could definitely contact her. Um, right. What time is it right now? Eight forty two. Uh, what time is it over there uh, in yours? It's 542. I live in Reno. I, hey, dude, I want you to get off right now. I want you to call her back and say, hey, I just talked. I, you know, over this, oh, I, I don't know how long you have, but you, you not chat with her and say, hey, I've been working really hard with you on this, Mr. Mr. Smith. I've been chatting with my team and I'm really trying to make this work for you. I got good news for you. Now, first off, before I say the good news, I want to make sure that we're on the same page. Uh -huh. If I can get you the price that you want, like we discussed last time, that 270, are you ready to move forward and get the paperwork done and associate property? Bro, okay. I want you to lock that thing up at 270. Or I don't care what it is. Even if you come back, you're like, no, you know what? I don't want 270 anymore. I want 300,000. Lock it up. Mm -hmm. Once you lock it up, dude, guess as much time as you can on there, dude. What we're going to do is I think if you get it for 270, dude, we will market that thing out for 300,000 or – before you pitch innovation, let's market that thing out for three hundred thousand. Let's get a quick thirty k wholesale fee. Angeline, dude, can get you can get can find you a buyer like that. Mm -hmm. Ryan, ciao, dude. Get off uh, of her <laughs> now, now, bro. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Gwen, Gwen, what's up, dude? Hi. Like, can you hear okay. Okay, when first off, like you see, do you guys see how powerful this is just, just to be in a group? Like if, if, if I didn't get on, if I didn't tell, if I didn't tell Ryan that, dude, 30K like that, gone. I, on, I honestly believe that he can probably make more than that. 
Okay, but when? You're up. Hi, can you hear me? Per I hear you perfect, loud and clear. Okay. Thank you. Um, I wanted to fully understand what you were saying earlier about the example. If the seller is selling the property to you for 100K and you are going to list it for 200K, there is a spread of 100, of 100K. So do you also factor in the repair cost, the commission cost, all of those in that 100K spread? No. Okay. So basically the buyer, when we list the property, buy they're going to buy assets that's exactly what's going to happen the buyer's going to buy assets you can negotiate the commission which means you'll be like hey you know what i got another buyer here that they said that we don't have to pay him the realtor commission right so you you leverage that so now you don't have to pay the realtor commission all you all you worry about is the realtor is the seller closing costs which is only three percent so if you can factor that in and still be able to make your spread that's where novation works now when when I said that when the seller sees that you're going to make $100,000 spread, the reason why you tell them, I got to do the repair, I got to pay the realtor commissions because 3%, 5%, 6% on $400,000. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. you, I have to pay for all those costs, but you're not. You're just saying that. So that way your $100,000 they, that they see that you're making, when you say, hey, I got to pay the realtor commission, which is 6%, I, they want a $50,000 repair. Right. They want all this stainless steel granite countertop. Right. All of this. So when you say all of that, it makes it seem like you don't make anything Got or it. At, or at least very little. That's how you position. So t ideally, will would the seller see the agreement that you're signing yeah. with the buyer? No, they will not see the agreement that you sign with the buyer. The only thing they see is they actually see how much you would sell the, the property for, which is 200K. Ah, OK. Got it. Yep. But Thank that's how, but yep, no problem. But that how but but that's how you explain to them. So that way they they know that you don't make anything or make very little. They they don't know how much you make. Makes okay, sense? so yeah, but so if the if the seller asks you to um let them see the agreement between you and the buyer. Sure. That's fine. Yep. Okay. But but because when that when when they see the price that you're selling yep. it for the buyer yep. though? Yep. They would. But like I said, you just explained it already. So you're going to be like, hey, this is my partner. So what we're going to do is I'm selling it to my partner because we need that 200K funding, right? So mm -hmm. now you want, you want to make sure you check out the email, the phone number of the buyer. But typically, I can tell you right now, the seller don't care. When they see the novation agreement, they saw that you're selling for 200000 All they care about is you. how do you explain that? How do you explain, explain that you got it for 100000 and now you're selling for 200000 so how you explain that is that, hey, we're getting the 200000 from our lender. So the whole entire time is that you say you find them the buyer, right? But you're saying, hey, we actually found a company that will lend us to actually buy your property. Mm -hmm. we, we, we had a partner that we're going to go in and we're going to buy it for 200K. Lender, we, the, 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 the 200K we're getting is from our lender. We need that because we got to pay realtor commission. We got to pay closing costs and we got to pay this to fix your house up for this end buyer, for this retail buyer, because that's what they want done to their property. Got Make it. sense? Yeah. Good. Brilliant. Thank you. Perfect. Alfredo, shoot for it, man. We got about. Okay. Hey, uh, I got, I got a few questions. Um, yep. Like we just mentioned that you, 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 uh, you say this to the buyer, to the uh, seller. Well, you know, there's this much of uh, spread. Um, yep. Uh, because we need to pay uh, realtors and all the stuff, but uh, yep. but in reality, in reality you you're not paying any realtors, right? Correct, correct. Yeah. Uh, the other one is so. But, hey, hold, 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 hold on. But sometimes you do. So yeah. if you cannot negotiate, that hey, I'm not paying. You know, we're not paying realtor commissions. If the realtor's okay with that, then yes, you're not paid. But if the realtor's not okay with it, then it probably have to come out of you, or you have to go back to the seller. And then renegotiate to factor that in. So you guys, this is something again. So let's just say you got under contract for 100K. I mean, 90K. Seller, right? You listed for 100K. Got a buyer comes in at 100K. You got to now pay, like, let's just say that 3% commission. You feel like, hey, I'm, I might not have enough spread. Go back to the seller and say, hey, Mr. Seller. So, you know, right now there's something that came up here. We're about we're 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 three thousand dollars short, right? Because there's some stuff that needs to be done. 
prior to us closing on the property, which will take care of it. We're going to come out of pocket 10,000. Once again, it's how you position. We're going to come out of pocket 10,000. We only need about $3,000 from you. We'll get this done and move this forward to closing. So you just got the seller to come off another 3,000. That 3,000 is actually going to pay for the realtor commission. It's either coming out of your pocket or it's going to come out of the seller pocket if the buyer won't agree. Make sense? So, yeah, yeah. so, so, so the money has to come out of somebody's pocket. But how do you pitch it to get the seller to drop another 3,000? Because it's easy to, to, once you got them to, to sign the contract, it's easy to come back and just build, because you built the report the entire time, it's easy to come back to get them to drop a little bit more money. Good? Okay. Yeah. Um, so the other one is, uh, so when um, when you are pitching your, um, you know, to, to the seller, uh, and then um, what is it, the RVA that, that you kind of figure, the same as if you're going to sell it using the no. 70 rule or hold, different? Hold, hold, hold on, Alfredo, when we do novation, we don't care about ARV. We just care about what the property will sell as is right now on the market, as is condition. Doesn't matter how much repair it needs. What would, what would someone buy for on the market right now? Okay, so basically, uh, you're not really taking into consideration the 30% that the end buyers typically, no. okay. So the other one is, um, so you, your main goal is to advertise it to the MLS buyers or to the uh, end buyers investors? Because once you put on the MLS, then then you, I don't know, I mean, you can advertise it on both sides, MLS and also and buyers investors you you do put it out wherever you can bro because the, sell, the sellers are doing they allow you to to market it you can market it out everywhere but i mean if it's, it's already listed right for let's say two hundred thousand dollars and um so if uh if you can also advertise it to an end buyer is he going to probably um ask you to you know give i mean use the 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 70 rule so he can, you know, buy it from you. Uh, I mean, what's better to, you know, try to, to uh, um, put it in the MLS or just aim into... No, no, no. No, no. no, Alfredo, if you put it... M so Novation is when you decided to put it on the MLS to attract retail buyer. Okay, so but it, so forget about uh, the investors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter if they're investor or not investor. You okay. want there for people who's willing to pay you as this price for the property on the MLS. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's all you care about. Okay. Okay. you good. Uh, yeah. No, the last one is, um, okay. so, um, if you are going to pay the, uh, the buyer's agent commission, because somebody is going to bring a buyer, if you put it in the MLS, so that's a 3% and then repairs, if they ask for some repairs plus closing costs, uh, so is it worth it to sell it on the MLS or is it worth it or is it, or is it better to just try to sell it to the end uh, buyers, investors? Okay. So Fredo, Novation works for, for, for typically for people, seller that wants retail value for the property and they're not in a rush to sell their property. So you're selling it to retail buyers. What, what is this the small business spread that, that you can uh, uh, the, the, the you can have so you can make it a good deal let's say the, the, the I mean the um, uh, market value uh, is two hundred thousand dollars then the seller asks for 180 is that enough room for you to yes make so yes yes really? yes it is so you're gonna lock it up for two well, for 180. You're gonna put it on the market for two hundred thousand. That's it. So as long as the sell fees that allow you to market it, you market it on for two hundred thousand. And but let's just say, but did you want to pay the uh, three percent to the uh, uh, buyer's agent? Yeah. yeah. Did, okay. Hold 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 So so the thing is, Alfredo, you lock it up for one eighty. You market for two hundred thousand. Let's just say you got a buyer comes in for one ninety. Well, guess what, my friend? Now you don't have a ten thousand dollar. You'll be like, dude, like I'm not gonna make anything. Easy, go back and renegotiate with the seller. Oh, okay. But that's that's all you do. 
Because now, dude, you turn into an agent. Same thing. You're the middleman trying to make both sides work. Hey, you know, Mr. Seller, we try right now. I'm on gonna make it work. I will find a way to make it work. I just want a, a person, a seller, yep. to sell their house, and I'll, uh, I'll make it work anyways. <laughs> cool. Yes, yeah, see that? That's exactly what you're doing. Once you get them to sign and agree, and you're like, hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. You put it on, you'd be like, hey, you know what? It's been like, it, we, we really tried. We spent so much money on marketing and we have tried to market this thing out and we only can get it for this much. You'd be like, boom. And then you come back and you tell them, hey, you know, the only thing that's making us from, from working right now is this is where we need to be. Could you guys come down to this much and we can make this work? And boom, that's it. Got it. All right. Thank you. Cool. No, like, okay, Ryan, you're next. We got about we got about five minutes, dude. So I, I just I just found I just found all the all the information on the house. So I was wrong about the numbers. So it was it was three hundred and twenty thousand after repair value and uh two hundred and sixty to two hundred and seventy as is and their mortgage was two thirty three. Okay, okay, hold on, bro. So ask how much how much would it sell for as is? Two sixty. Right now it's on the market. On the market for two sixty. Yeah. Dude, so so basically, dude, if it's on the market already, yeah, then, then then there's no point. Yeah, right. So when you, okay, so did the seller recently did the seller recently put this property on the market? Yeah. So I think I called them about a month ago, and yep. so they said if they couldn't if they couldn't find someone to buy their house, then yep. they they would they would go with a real estate agent. So I I think that's what they did is went through it with an agent. I got you. But listen, dude, don't give up. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to call the seller back uh -huh. and you're going to tell the seller exactly what I just told you, which is you're going to say, hey, uh, Bob, we have this new buyer program. I know your property is listed. I hope that agent will get this sold for you, this and that. But for whatever reason, if it doesn't work out, I want to tell you about this new program we got here. We'll, uh -huh. we'll, we'll cover all the costs, all the fees and this and that. Dude, sometimes that agent is not, it's not hustling and can I get that thing sold? And you can be there as a backup when it doesn't work, dude. They'll call you back, bro. And now instead of like, so they owe how much on it? They owe uh, two thirty. Okay, three, okay, two hundred thirty-three thousand. Cool. So, dude, if, if you keep a tight follow-up, they'll get to the point where they're so exhausted with it, mm -hmm. you'll be able to lock it up for what they owe, right? Exactly. Or, or, dude, or Ryan, the next thing you can do is do a subject to contract and try to sell it that way and try to wholesale it that way. Okay. So okay. what? Hold on, hold on. I, okay. So I I don't want you to get ahead of the game. When you get to that point where the seller do call you back, uh -huh. hit us. Okay. Hit me. Hit Alex. We'll walk you through the whole thing of how to tie this under own the contract and do that whole thing. Okay, dude. So okay. what I want cool. you to do right now is get off the phone, call the seller, plant the seeds, which gotcha. is tell them exactly what I just told you. Build that rapport, and if they call you back, boom. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, man. All right. You guys, all the time we got, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys here. And I want you guys to understand this. This is a community. What I share with you guys today, there are uh, there are people that actually are not on this this call. So please help each other out. And that's why we're here. So help each, each other out. I'm going to do my best to get you guys all the knowledge, the information that you need, whatever I just said that I'm going to get. Um, and once I get everything, I'm going to post it in here, okay? And once again, wholesale novation, exact same thing. Make sure when you pitch, if the wholesale won't work, do the novation, lock it up. The things you're missing right now, a lot of you are missing right now, is you don't have inventory. You don't have a product to sell. Lock it up. Even if it's the wrong price, at least you tell the seller, hey, we're, we need to be at 220. You're at like 250. Now, listen, this is a little bit higher than what we need to be, but I think we can still work, make it work if you're able to give us a 30 days inspection. So you can be transparent. If you give us a 30 days inspection, I want you to lock it up because you need that contract signed. And then we can walk you through exactly how the next step to be. Tell you how to renegotiate all of that and make this deal work. All right, Ron, guys. So today I want to leave you guys with, make sure you guys go and read Outwit and the Devil. Once you have the mindset straight, everything will flow. Outwit and the Devil have changed my mind on a lot of things and it helps me grow bigger you know, and better and happier, healthier, and more peace of mind. So it's a, it's a, it's a one of the greatest book ever. I'm within the devil. And the second book I recommend is Atomic Habits.
greatest book also. So have any one of you read those? Oh, right I there. love that. Yeah. Yes, I love that so, book. So, so, so it's basically what it is, is it's all the little habits that we do every single day that actually stack up. And then when you actually look at what you're doing, it's such a game changer. You'll be like, man, I spent so much time doing this. Well, you just make a little switch, just a little tiny switch. Every day. And the thing is, you guys, when like I can have goosebumps, if you, it, so out when, out when the devil, right? It's all, it's actually on YouTube, the audio you can listen to. It gives me goosebumps. Out when in the devil yeah. by Napoleon Hill. Every, just want to make sure you get the right one. Dude, everything that you guys think about, whether everything, man, from like your health, your wealth, your love, your happiness, everything. It will blow you away. Name. Because, Do you want to type it in, Tom? Yeah, because basically, basically, okay, you want to type it in, Lon? Dang, Lon, Lon actually jumped on today, too. Jeez. You can get it for free on uh, yeah. YouTube. On YouTube, right there, send it. Boom. I win in the devil. First book. So here, okay, what the heck? Where, where are we? Oh, shoot, you're still in here, and oh, you close. Close this. Close this. Close this. Shoot, I missed a word. What the heck? Phone face or something. Oh, I'm back. Okay. I I want you guys to I want you guys to read or listen to both of those books. The next time that I come on here, we're actually gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes to talk about what you guys got actually out of it. got out of it. And I'm telling you right now, everything that you guys are thinking about, like those two things will blow you away. It will be. Because it changed Lon and I's life. It's, it's crazy. Every single time when I talk about I win the devil, it gives me goosebumps because, it, because the devil is in within us. Dude, it's insane. Like the devil is no, within. Like, he just gives you thoughts that sometimes you think is your own thoughts. But it's not but you. It's not you. It's so you gotta, you gotta be aware and be guarded of your thoughts. You know, but just go read the book. It's like so. No, actually, don't read it. Go listen to the audio because the audio have the guy that was the devil. Sound like a devil. Oh my god, his voice is amazing. Dude, you gotta go crazy. listen to the audio book on YouTube. It's free. It's yeah. free, you guys. Go listen to it. It's free on YouTube, and you have to listen to the audio book. It's way way yeah. better because the guy that does the devil's voice, his voice is so Give deep and like amazing. Bro. Dude, it's, it's 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 crazy. All right, you guys. So once again, go do it, and then next month I'll, I'll touch base with you. And I'm I'm hoping that from this sessions that that fifty percent of you I'm hoping the next time we meet or at least one or two of you have a property and a contract that we can talk about doing novation. Take care, you guys. Have a great night. Right. What is what is the last book that you you mentioned? Outwitting the Devil, Napoleon Hill. What was the other one? Uh, Atomic Habits. Atomic Atom Habits. Yeah, yep. somebody already t a text in there. Yep. I you see guys, it. Right Atomic there. Habits. Great, great books. Thank right, you all guys. so much. I'll, I'll touch you with you guys in the next 30 days. Thank you, guys. Later. Bye, guys. Hey, wait. Thank let's, you so what? much. Wait, wait. Let's, let's go get this money. Let's go get this money. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night.